let's talk a little bit about Anime Matsuri because it was really, really interesting. At least it was fun. So there's a big anime convention in Houston every year, of course, minus COVID, called Anime Matsuri, where all the best weebs go. There were many, many weebs there to be sure. And I went primarily to be there with my friends who would be there. I mean, I watched Dragon Ball Z and Cowboy Bebop, but you know, that's about the extent of my anime knowledge. And uh, the, the people who are there take it very seriously. And I was there like, well, this is an interesting environment to be sure. Um, but I went mainly because I knew Nick Rikita would be there and I thought it'd be cool to say hi to him. And I went to, because Attorney Tom was going to be there, and Andrew from Legal Mindset was going to be there. And so I thought it would be cool to just say hello to these people and, you know, spend some time with my friends. That's always a good thing. And, and it, what was interesting about it is that there was a little booth, I suppose, or no, booth is the wrong phrase. There's a little corner for YouTube personalities, because Anna, that Star Wars girl, was there. And there was Yellow Flash Jacket or whatever his name was there. And there were some other people that were YouTube that were there. And Nick Rikita apparently was the big draw of the show. Because when he came to his table, he had something like a three hour line of people waiting to meet him. I'm not quite sure why in particular uh, at this event, but uh, I guess people know he's going to be there and there are a lot of fans. I mean, he, he has some, he, he gets a lot of, he, people know him from the, from the whole Vic Manana case, which incidentally, I got to say hello to him very briefly just to say hi so that we can meet in person. I thought that was cool, but people know, uh, people know Nate, Nick from the whole Vic Manana thing and Vic Manana had a huge line of people going to see him. And Nick also had a huge line of people going to go see him. He had like a three hour line of people going to go see him. And I was there, of course, in my trademark cowboy hat because how else would you do it? And I got recognized more than I've ever gotten recognized anywhere ever. I was recognized on the floor as I was walking around the exhibits because I was wearing my hat and people were like, you were on civil law. I'm like, yes, I am. Or I was standing around in the booth area near Nick and people are like, you're on civil law. I'm like, yes, I am. I must have taken, I don't know, 20 pictures with people or something. And that's kind of cool. 20 people or so wanted to have their photos taken with me. That was neat. Um, to be recognized. And it's like, well, it was, it was my first ta taste of something that resent, something that resembles, uh, something that resembles fame. So really, really cool. So it was, it was, it was very neat. I must, yeah, people coming up to me as I'm just walking the floor and be like, hey, you're on civil law. Yeah, yes I am. So, I mean, they were there to see, they were there to see, uh, Nick, obviously, but being Nick adjacent was fun. And then I got to be on a little bit of a panel kind of thing with Andrew from Legal Mindset, where we were doing a broadcast and it was very sort of, I don't know. It was very, it was a very strange broadcast. Uh, it was not your typical legal broadcast Min Minyana I always get his name I, I, I always get his name wrong Minyana and says D please don't become the quartering with names oh Bobo Yogi oh if if the if the quartering is not known for knowing names properly then it is way too late for this channel it is way too late if if not knowing names and mispronouncing names is what makes me the quartering. Oh, just call me Jeremy. And let me tell you about the beauty of coffee brand coffee because yeah. Yeah. And, and, and also, and also he got stepped on literally because I don't know. That's how he rolls. Let me see if I have it in my camera roll. 
that I can share with you. Oh, yeah. All right, so hold on. Let me save this. So, yeah, this will give you a, a sense of what's going on here. Let me download this thing. And then I can add this. Can I show in folder? And can I add this to my PDF list? E yes, I can. And what happens if I share? Oh, yeah. Let me just change the margin so you can get the full experience. Hold on. Oh, yeah. So, uh, as this is what it kind of looked like in Anime Matsuri in this YouTube corner. As you can see, there are these big sort of professional banners behind people where they got their names on there and stuff like that. I don't know if they get to keep the banner. That'd be cool. Put the banner right behind you when you're on stream. That'd be cool. And as you can see, Nick here is getting stepped on by a girl with a sign that says Nick Ricada experience and stepping on him. So uh, apparently getting stepped on with a girl with the, with the shoes was a desirous thing to do at, at the, uh, at the show. So yeah. Yeah. 